Hi, this is question number six from the AQA Statistics 1 June 2015 exam paper. In this question, we're being told that in a particular country, 35% of the population is estimated to have at least one mobile phone. A sample of 40 people is selected from the population, and we're going to use this distribution, um, a binomial distribution, where we have um, a sample of 40 with probability of 0 0.35 to estimate the probability that the number of people in the sample um, that have at least one mobile phone is each of these things here. So I'm going to start by just defining my problem. I'm going to define a random variable, uh, a random discrete variable x that is distributed binomially um, with an n value of 40 and a probability of 0.3 okay so for part one here where um, we're trying to work out that at most we have 15 with a mobile phone so in order to work this out um, I want the probability of my random vari variable x to be well it can be equal to 15 and it um, and less than 15 so we're going to say less than or equal to 15 okay so it can include 15 here so um, we can now go to our table we want the probability of x is less than or equal to 15 so if I just pop it onto my table and um, just want to note here that we've got of n is equal to 40 because there's 40 trials altogether and we want the column which is 0 0.35 so we're looking at this column over here and we're looking for when x is less than or equal to 15 so I'm going to set my x value to 15 and we're reading off this value over here in the 0 0.35 column and in the row that um, is less than or equal to 15 that tells us that we've got 0 0.6946 and that's going to be our probability for this here 0 0.6946 okay so that's the probability that our sample has at most 15 mobile phone users okay in part two we're being asked to find the probability that there are more than 10 mobile phone users so we're looking for the probability of x being greater than 10 okay so if we go back to our table over here now we know all of these probabilities add up to 1 so this goes from 0 down to 40 we can't see the 40th um, and we're looking for the probability of greater than 10 so that wouldn't include 10 that's going to start at 11 and we're looking for all of these probabilities going down uh, and up to 40 okay so um, because all of our probabilities are going to be equal to 1 if I do 1 take away the probability of 10 or less so the probability of x being less than or equal to 10 that should give me my solution now I know the probability of less than or equal to 10 because that's going to be this value here okay that represents a probability where um, for x is less than or equal to 10 so I can do one take away that value um, and that should give me my answer so if we go back over here we're saying well the probability of x being greater than um, 10 is going to be equal to one take away the probability of x being less than or equal to 10 which we said is going to be 1 take away 0 0.1215 and then using our calculator 1 take away 0 0.1215 and that gives us 0 0.8785 0 
Okay, so that gives us the probability of x being greater than 10. Now part 3, and I'm going to do part 3 down here. Um, more than 12, but fewer than 18. So we're looking for more than 12, but fewer than 18. So let's just represent that over here. We want the probability of um, more than 12. So x is going to be greater than 12, but fewer than 18. Okay, so let's um, go back to our diagram over here and let's just be clear about what we're looking for. So more than 12, but fewer than 18. Let's rub all this out from before. Right, so more, more than 12 means that we want to start at 13 over here, but fewer than 18 means we want to end at this 17 over here. So we're looking for the probability of this part here. Okay, so um, if I can work out what 17 or less is, and then I can work out what 12 or less is. Okay, so we've got the probability of 17 or less, and then the probability of 12 or less. If I take off this 12 or less from the 17 or less, that should give me um, this part here. So I'm doing the probability of less than or equal to 17 take away the probability of less than or equal to 12 and that should give me this probability here the probability of 13 14 15 16 or 17 okay so um, let's just carry that over here and I'm happy that that is going to be equal to that. Okay, right, so that means that this is going to be equal to, well, the probability of x being less than or equal to 17, well, I can read off that, that value over here, x is less than or equal to 17 is going to be 0 0.8761. take away the probability of x being less than or equal to 12 um, and that's going to be that value there less than or equal to 12 is 0 0.3143 okay and then using my calculator I can work out that this is 0 0.8761 take away 0 0.3 one four three and that gives us zero point five six one eight okay so that's going to be the probability of more than 12 but fewer than 18 okay now finally part four or finally for part a part four we want exactly equal to the mean of the distribution so we need to work out first of all what the mean of the distribution is so i'm going to call that mu okay so the mean of the distribution well if i have a probability of 0 0.35 and i have 40 people selected from the population the mean is just going to be this 0 0.35 multiplied by 40. so i'd say on average if i had lots of samples of 40 people I'd expect 0 0.35 times by 40 to be the number of um, people in my population to have um, a mobile phone, have at least one, one mobile phone. So my mean is going to be equal to 0 0.35 times by 40. And that's going to be um, 0 0.35 times 40 and that's going to be equal to 14. 
so I would expect 14 mobile phone, phone users to be in my sample okay right so uh, now I know what that is um, to work out the, the probability of there being exactly um, 14 mobile phone users um, there's a couple of ways that I can do this I can use my table um, which is what I am going to do so we'll use my table first of all and um, over here we want our probability probability to be exactly 14 so if I do 14 or less that's going to be 14 or less and then I take away 13 or less so I've got the probability of 14 or less and I take away the probability of 13 or less that will leave me with the probability of just 14 so 14 or less let's just write that down so the probability oops. So the probability of x being equal to 14 is going to be equal to the probability of x less than or equal to 14 take away the probability of x being less than or equal to 13 okay and that will tell me the probability that x is exactly equal to 14 okay so um, that's going to be zero point five seven two one for fourteen or less so that's equal to zero point five seven two one take away and we're gonna have zero point four four zero eight zero point four four zero eight and that's going to be equal to 0 0.5721 take away 0 0.4408 and that gives me a probability of 0 0.1313 okay and there you go so um, that's the probability of there being exactly 14 Right, so we're going to move on to part B. Before I do that, I'm just going to tidy up um, my working so far. Okay, for part B, um, we're being told that in the same country, 70% of households have a landline telephone connection. A sample of 50 households is selected from all of the households in the country. S stating the necessary condition regarding the selection, estimate the probability that fewer than 30 households have a landline telephone connection. So our first um, task here is to, is to say what the necessary condition is. Well, we're being told that a sample of 50 households is selected. We need to make sure in order for our um, solution to be valid here, um, this needs to be a random sample. So we need to say must be a random sample. Okay. Um, so that's our necessary condition. We're then asked to um, estimate the probability that fewer than 30 households have a landline telephone connection. Right, I'm going to start by defining my problem here. So I'm, this time I'm going to have a random area variable x um, that's going to be binomially distributed with an n value of 50, 50 trials this time, and a probability of well, 70% of the households have a landline telephone connection, so it's going to be 0 0.7. Okay. Now, because we have a value of 0 0.7 here, which is greater than 0 0.5, we can't use the tables that we're given in our formula book because that they only go up to 0 0.5. So I'm now going to have to redefine this problem. So whereas I had x standing for a discrete random variable, um, that represented um, the number of households that have a landline telephone connection. I'm now going to use a different um, 
discrete random variable y and my y is going to represent the number of households that don't have a landline telephone connection and y is going to be distributed binomially with 50 trials because it's 0 0.7 that they have a landline telephone connection it's going to be 0 0.3 that they haven't got a landline telephone connection okay so y is going to be distributed binomially 50 trials with a probability of 0 0.3 okay and we're going to estimate the probability that fewer than 30 households have a landline telephone connection so over here I'm saying well I want the probability oops, that x is less than 30 or I'm going to say less than or equal to 29 that's what we're trying to work out fewer than 30 which is less than or equal to 29 so what we're saying here then is that the probability for y which is going to be the number of um, households that don't have a landline well then that needs to be greater than or equal to 21 and I'll just show you quickly what I mean over here for um, if this here represents our sample of 50 and we want uh, the number of um, people who have a landline number of households that have a landline to be less than or equal to 29 so that's 29 here um, then that means that the number of people who do have don't have a landline has got to be greater than or equal to um, 21 so back over here Oops. right so um, this is the value that we want to try and calculate from our table or well, the probability of, of y being greater than or equal to 21 if we just come over here um, so my n value here is 50 now because we're working from a different table and the probability that I'm using is going to be 0 0.3 so we're going to be reading from um, this column here okay and um, we're trying to work out where y is greater than or equal to 21 so we want 21 included and we want to carry on down here so y is greater than or equal to 21 well in order to work that out I need to work out um, the probability of all of it which is 1 take away the probability of y being less than or equal to 20 okay so one take away the probability of y being less than or equal to 20 is going to give me y is um, greater than or equal to 21 so um, I'm just going to come back over here and write that down so probability of y is greater than or equal to 21 is going to be equal to the probability sorry one take away one take away the probability of y being less than or equal to 20 okay so that's going to be one take away and we can read off this value from the table so we want this column here and we've got 0 0.9522 and that's going to be zero point zero four seven eight okay um thanks very much for joining me i will see you next time